What's up? This is United Rifles here with Fish Game City. Uh, and Charfish, we're doing a dual commentary on World of Tanks. Yeah. This is, um, Quentin's specialty, so I'm kind of glad I'm taking over. But just so you know, we've hit 700 hits. Yeah, probably, that's awesome. Probably, we love you. Probably, um... Once we get to a thousand hits, that'll be like we'll really make it a special. Yeah, we're gonna have a party. We're yeah, gonna, we're, we're gonna do like a lot of commentary. <laughs> well, maybe no, we don't have the tools yet, but may, if, probably for our like we'll, we'll later down in the road, once we hit like a million hits, and hopefully, hopefully, okay, cross our fingers. Up. Yeah, ho hopefully you guys keep us up and running, and please subscribe, vote, like, all that good stuff, and comment. And yeah, tell us what United, United Rifles, what, what you want to see from United Rifles. He's really into, like, the strategic war games. Like. Yeah, I, I can, like, just send me a post and I'll see if I can get it in. Also, I have another big news. You know how I was saving up for the tank? Ah, crap. Hold on, it, it's not ready yet. It's not ready. Don't look. It's naked. Close. Yeah, that's right. Got the T-28. This thing has a big sweetness. Um, I will say this thing does have a pretty kick butt gun. It's a 76 millimeter. It's a lot of punching power. Um, this thing during the war actually it did strategically have three machine guns, so it was pretty ba. But thing is, is that you can't use machine guns in this because they'd be practically useless. Does um do you have to face harder opponents now that you're uh, have a better tank? Yeah, I battled with this tank once, and I got put like when in the battle. Usually, like, the highest tank I've been put with is, um, the Churchill tank, and that's pretty powerful. That's a 57mm gun and a lot of armor. I've never taken one out, but that used to be the highest, and that was when I was using, like, my SU-76 and everything. But now that I'm using, uh, now that I'm using the T-28, I'm actually going up against, like, ISs. And the IS, you can modify to be, like, IS-1s and 2s, but the IS-3, you have to buy separately. Okay, oh, great. So this time I've ranked pretty high. That's great. So I, I actually have a fighting chance. But the other time I was like probably like third to last on my team. And there was oh. an IS at the very top. <laughs> yeah, I, I was dead within the second. Tell us about the lineup. All right. So for SPGs, we're, we, yeah, it's pretty even because we have three T57s. They have one T57 and one WESP. And that's pretty good. Uh, tank Destroyers, it looks like they win because they have an SU85B and a Hetzer and an M1A1. We only have a Hetzer and a a, uh, and two martyrs. Oh, and a TA2. So I guess we're actually kind of tied up there. Uh, as for tanks, we have an M3 Lee as our best, and they only have a PZ3, so I think we win there. Battle starts. So, who do you think overall is going to win this matchup? Tank destroyers are a pretty vital part, but then again, so are SPGs. Um, I, I, I actually kind of put my vote for the other team, sadly. Eh, that's not very good, so you're going to have to work hard. Mm -hmm. Win this battle. Stay yeah. in long, Quentin. I want to see if I can follow around this Lee. Cool. So, yeah, let's see what's happening here. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, so, as you might know, United Rifles has some really good, he, he's very knowledgeable about this type of game, and, like, well, seriously. yes, he, he, he loves these type of games, and hopefully he can get some other types of games like this out soon, so, that you guys... Yes, speaking of which... Later on, I will be doing my first um, Rise of Nations video. It will have to be cut into separate pieces because it's such... Like, each game is about two hours, so... I don't know if you'll want to sit at your computer for two hours, but... Yeah, yeah we're choice. definitely going to break into parts. Um, now, speaking of which, also, the um, the other thing that's happening um, is videos that we're going to break up into different parts, or maybe even different series. So if he plays different... Uh, like, if he plays multiple world... Rise of Nations, excuse me, um, games. We're gonna we're gonna have this. I have made a new format for our video titles. So it's kind of like series one, um, episode one. So that, and we'll make playlists so that you guys can just watch from all of the videos that we have so far. Like you can just hit play all and like all of the videos that we have so far. Sweet. So yeah. So look forward to some stuff like that. We I do on AJ Beck and Francis League. I do have. Those already set up. Oh, get in the cover. Yeah, I know. I'm oh, taking. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna survive. Oh crap! I know why I'm taking damage. There's a headser right there. Well, the good thing is, I think I'd probably already be dead if it weren't for this thing's brilliant armor, and also this thing actually comes with 320 hit points. So this thing can take quite a beating. Wow. Whoa. Uh, oh, the headser got him first. Dang it. 
Okay. Or man. Move boss in. Boss kill. Yeah. Yep, there's their tank firing off some shots at us. Wow, you need to get, like, into more cover. Like, like we're at a point where, like, you can... Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get up behind this hill, because then they can't hit us. Yeah, good me. idea. Quentin's very strategic on these type of games. I really have to admit, he's really good at these type of games. Alright, where are they? Oh, there's one. Why did it just disappear like that? Uh, if... Aw, oh, dang it. If, it if, if you can't actually see it, sometimes it'll run out of space. So that's a it D2. It seems like that's it was, like, my... The computer was, like... Not, it seemed like it was like lagging or something. No, like that. this thing's pretty good, but um, it does run off of um, like if you can see it, like from like your tank's view, uh huh, and plenty of that stuff. Cool. So, let's go with the T46. Cool. I discovered that this thing is actually really pretty fast. I discovered it a while ago, but I thought it was slower than this. You hadn't played this game for a while, had you? <laughs> no, not before I started doing the videos, no. And you're starting to enjoy it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, the other thing is, um, so tell us about the lineups. Give us some more okay. information. So for lineups, we have a KV and a T1HT. Those are pretty good, but against M10s, I'm, I'm afraid we don't really stand a chance. Um, so I think for uh, tank destroyers, they have the absolute advantage. SPGs, where we, I guess, win because we have they have the M7 and two Sturm Panzers, but we have the M37 and S, uh, two SU-26s and a WESP. So they get the victory on tank destroyers. We get the victory on tanks and and SPG. So I think we might have the vote for this one. Cool. That's always good to hear. The one thing that really matters though is like you winning. So. Yeah. So here we go. Oh, I have a heavy following me. I'm not sure which one it is. I just see it on my map. Yep, it's the T1HT. So it's not the KV, but it's still a pretty heavy one. All right, so let's get around in here. Oops, stupid truck. It had it coming. Can't see anything. Yeah, there, what's really annoying is sometimes when I get put on the other side of this battlefield, players will camp in here, and oh. it's annoying. Oh, crap. That's their M10. That's a really, really powerful tank. I, Tell some statistics. Let's see, the M10, I believe... Normally had about a 90, I think at the 93 Vickers gun, I believe. Not entirely sure, but it's an extremely powerful tank. It has quite the punching power. As for armor, it was actually pretty good. Uh, the British and Americans devised this tank, and they outfitted it with quite a bit of armor because they wanted it to be the extreme of extreme tank destroyers because they knew their other tank destroyers, such as, um, let's see, oh, whatchamacallit. God, I can't think of the name. Um, but it's a really good tank destroyer. Very good. It's excellent. Cool. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go as far as to, to say it's, oh, that's our KB. Sweet. One thing that I never really got was, um, I'm so used to separating the two tanks, the KV-1 and the KV-2. I never really knew that you could actually separate the tanks by buying different things for the tanks. So it's like, you can buy a different turret for the KV and it becomes a KV-2. Now, the KV-2 during World War II was a, um, actually armed with a 155 millimeter gun, which was al almost like an artillery cannon on it, while the um, KV-1 KV had the 76 millimeter. So it was a about the equivalent of my tank. Just about. Just a little bit slower. Okay. Cool. You're ranked lower in this matchup. Oh, definitely lower. <laughs> yeah. It's actually kind of funny, because all the, all the people below me that are dead, I'm now at the bottom of my list, so... Yeah, that's kind of comforting. Wow, look at... Okay, so, like, look at how many people have died on their team versus your team. Yep, it's 10 to 5. We're doing pretty good. The... Entering enemy flag zone. I want to see if I can maybe capture it myself. Oh, there's their Sturm Panzer. I can probably get a good shot off of it. Uh, bang! There we go. Nice! <laughs> oh, my God. That was actually quite a bit. That was, like, 15%. Okay, get another one. Get another bang. shot. Bang! There we go. That's... The kill! One kill myself. Oh, God. Look at that. KV, I think, has, like, three kills, and so is the SU-26 there. Yeah, wow. getting three kills in one battle, that's actually pretty... Three tanks left for the enemy team. And, uh, yep, there's one right there. Oh, God, that, that SPG is... That SPG is really kicking it. Oh, there's a guy coming my way, I think. Yep, there he is. I see you. Yeah, I see you there. Uh, don't think I don't see you, mister. Whoa. This is the cops. We have you surrounded. Ah, crap, I shouldn't have exited. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I'm not, I didn't exit. 
Okay, I want to see if I can get. It. Oh, ah! You didn't get to kill, but at least tell what your team did. God, look, the, the SPG has four kills. Oh man, that, ah, you win! Sweet. This is your first victory that like you have survived all the way. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so that's five thousand credits. I can do pretty much a lot with the credits. So, cool. So we'll do one more. Yeah, let's do one there. more battle. Uh, I'll choose the the seventy six. I like this one just because the gun is so accurate and deals quite a bit of damage. The armor, however, mm, not very great. Hit points is pretty low, so this tank is meant to be for a distance. Now, as for the actual SC-26 that served in World War II, the armor, of course, wasn't very great. It was a long range, as opposed to like the medium and short range tank destroyers. So those were separated, you know, actually by the Russians during that time period. All right, line up. Oh man, you're the lowest of the lows. Yeah, that's that's pretty great. So there's, they have a Churchill, we have a KV. Um, they do win in tanks because they have the Churchill. As for tank destroyers, we have an M10 and an SU85. Um, they have two Stugs as their best. Um, I think we're pretty even on that. Um, on SPGs, we we take the victory. We have a Grill and an M7 Priest. They only have an M7 and an M37. So we take the cake for SPGs, but sadly we don't have it for anything else. So, overall, you think that the other team's going to win? Yes, but seeing how critical SPGs are, I think... Well, You're going to stay in it for a while? Yeah, hopefully. Now, this time, I'm not going to be as stupid as I was last time, and I'm not going to go as far. I'm going to stay stay fairly back with this one, because this thing cannot take a beating. Now, the Hetzer for the other team, that actually, the Germans cared to put quite a bit of armor on. What's, what's like, the strength of this tank in particular? Um, this, I, if I remember straight, I think I had only about 25 millimeters front armor, and that's not all that much. Um, like, if I take the Tiger tank, for chant, or for example, that I believe had uh, three inches of armor, so <laughs> I don't think I'd stand What's, a chance against that. So, the armor is not very good with not on this, this no. tank. What's the qualities for this tank? Like, what is it good at? Um, the speed is pretty good. I also like the maneuverability. You can turn it quite quickly. It's, um, the gun, even though it's only, um, a 57 millimeter, which is about the same as the Churchill, though, um, it does pack quite a punch, surprisingly, and it's extraordinarily accurate. Like, the little reticle that zooms in when you're stationary, that, like, see how stationary it is? And I'm actually moving, so it's actually pretty great. Oh, bad guys. I, I think I can get a flanking shot on that T14, maybe. Or maybe that M3. Just want to see if I can hit it anything. Uh, no. I can only really see the turret, so I wouldn't I wouldn't take the shot. Alright, this is probably a suicide rush, but I'm going to get up next to that T14 and see if I can get that game-blowing, or not game-blowing, but tank-blowing shot. Come here. Ah, really a miss. Swing and a miss. Bang. Oh. And ah. I hit and barely any damage. Probably just dinged him. Probably has a headache. Does he even oh, know you're there? there? I don't think so. Yeah, he probably does. He just doesn't want to acknowledge me. Oh! He yeah, better you. acknowledge me. <laughs> what now? He better acknowledge me. Don't forget me. Uh-huh. Okay, so that, that M3 Lee up there just got destroyed, and that was actually kind of my worry. That's why I hid behind the destroyed tank. I was afraid he was going to get a flanking shot on me, and that would be the end of me. That's just because, um, you know, another bad thing about this tank is that hits from behind are devastating. I mean, since it is an open cockpit, as most tanks were to, you know, fumigate the... Well, not fumigate, but um, air out the cabin so that way they wouldn't die from poisoning from the gases. As you can see... There's a little black smoke bellowing up, but that's why I'm, a lot of tanks had an open top, or at least a lot of ventilation. So a hit from behind would just be gone for me. Okay. So you really have to watch your back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I can actually get get around pretty fast, so. Okay, so there's a bunch of baddies over there. I want to go to where the action is. So I know this hill kind of flattens out once I get to the top, so... Yeah, but there's another one, so I can't really see him. Let's come up with this KV. 
Okay, so their tanks over there are fairly light. I want to see if I can get that M37, just knock out their SPGs, knock out their fire support. Enemy base capture up there, what does that mean? Oh, that means someone is in their base, or one of our guys are, are in their base, and they, they're not we're capturing it. Oh, I just left the circle. Here, I'll go ahead and take a spot in the circle. Oh, wait, there's an M MAA-1. That, that's a small tank. It doesn't have much armor. I can probably destroy it. Bang. All right, let's <laughs> fail team. All right, we are 12 to 4. We're doing pretty great. I'm about to enter their, their flag zone. Three enemies left in the uh -oh. battlefield. M7. Don't like that. Um, I should probably eliminate their forces. There's only I have two guys left instead of capturing that flag, because I don't want to stay stationary with an M7 priest right there. Okay, it looks like their last the last tank, not tank to, or SPG, is hitting it off over at the other flank. Okay, so there he is. I can probably get him. I'm gonna see how close I can get to him, and I can get like a kill shot on him. Okay, where'd he go? Ah, oh, there he is. Cause trees don't magically fall over. Oh come on! I got a shot with a 57 millimeter, and it, and it hit him, and he didn't budge. Hey, guess what? Burn! Oh, really? God, this thing has good armor. I don't think he's even trying to hit me. Yeah, he's running away. Shoot! There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna maneuver my way around him, because I know if... Oh, oh! Really? Oh, well. S stupid SPG. Alright, second vic All right, second victory. I, that, I, as I said, is gonna be my final battle. Uh, thanks for watching. Your views mean a lot for us. Don't forget uh, to comment, rate, and subscribe. Subscribe, yeah, please. We only have like two subscribers. Three. Three, sweet. Still, that's not enough. It's never enough. Anyway, love you guys. See you guys later.